to our briquette maker extraordinaire. Recently the jack that we used with our briquette press broke and although we can currently find a replacement we wondered what we would do if we weren't able to. We looked online and found an excellent website called Engineers Without Borders and using the plans from that website we made this. We downloaded a 19 page PDF file which gives you a cutting list, dimensions in metric and imperial measure and full instructions with photographs on how to make the press. Today we're going to try it out for the first time but in the meantime this is how we made it. There are two versions of the press, one with and one without notches. We're making the notched variety, uh, which we actually made the notches using our table saw. But if you don't have a table saw, then you can just as easily do it using a router. Right, well, we've sanded everything just to knock off any sharp corners. And the next job is to assemble the press. Well, we've made the form which we're going to use to make our briquettes. This is the base which has holes in it um, to allow the water to escape and the form itself. So uh, we'll just give it a try. So I'm going to fill it with our gloop which we've already mixed up. And then we made this plunger as well. The plunger goes into the form like that. As you can see, we've also um, got a trough underneath so we can catch the water and reuse it. So we just do one press just here. Then move it along slightly to press some more out now to get the briquette out of that what we do is we remove the base place it on these two bits of plywood that we have here and press again a voila a briquette. Well we've just finished pressing our briquettes. We made a total of 32 briquettes out of two bucketfuls of gloop um, and here's one of them. They're slightly smaller than ones we've made previously. They're um, eight and a half centimetres square or thereabouts but we're really pleased with the results and in total it only took us half an hour to press them all. So uh, we hope you've enjoyed the video and see you next time. Recently the Hydro... Hello, Ms. Virgil here. Recently the hydraulic jack that we've been using when our press broke and so we thought we would try to find a simpler... Oh,